Hello everyone. In this video, all I want to do is talk about top, bottom, left, and right margins. I will have to throw in a break in here, uh, and, and specific, specifically even in odd pages, and that's another uh, series that I will put in later. So this is the area that I'm talking about. But the area that I want to talk about is strictly nothing but margins, because that's enough uh, subject line just for 30 minutes. So <clears throat> again, we have top, bottom, left, and right margins. In addition to that, we can add gutters. Okay, so why would you add gutters? Let's say you had a bunch of paper and you wanted to put three hole punch. Then if you didn't do that then your text would be all uh, cut so let me, let me explain what I'm talking about so I'm gonna create a new document and on my layout I want the uh, margins to only be uh, um, 0 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 okay so I'm gonna throw some random text so equals R-A-N-D for random I'm gonna put in 60 no I'm gonna put in 80 paragraph with five sentences per paragraph and hit enter that gives me um, all those pages okay so let's go to uh, uh, let's go to page one okay so there's page one now <clears throat> everything looks the same right um, I'm gonna make this look a little more realistic so I'm gonna do a custom margins I'm gonna add let's say 0 0.75 at the top 0 0.75 uh, at the bottom I'm only gonna put let's say 0.5 and hit OK so that would allow me to put something at the top and something at the bottom Matter of fact, at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a footer. You know, I want to put, let's say, uh, page one of one, page two of two, and so forth. So now, that, that's what it would look like. Okay, so uh, we're not going to put a header. <clears throat> so right now, if I went and printed this, and I printed front and back, every time that I put a three-hole punch, it would cut into my text so what you can do is you can add a gutter on the right or left side of the page depending on what section it is if it's an even or odd page so what I'm gonna do just for grins I'm gonna throw in myself a couple of um, uh, returns and I'm going to go in here in my layout and add a page break. I'll tell you what, before I even do that, let me show you why I have to do that. Let's say that on this particular page, I don't want it to be one quarter of an inch. I just want one inch margins all the way around. So if I go in here and I tell it uh, one inch margins everywhere, look what happens. They all do that, right? So to keep that from happening, Go to the last of the page that you know you're going to end up using as the last page, uh, last sentence. Uh, click here, go to layout, go to break, go to next page. Now, this is independent of this because you, this is called a page break. Once you do a page break, you can actually go in and uh, change your text. So I'm going to increase my, oops, control C. I'm going to increase my font. I'm going to make it bold. And in this section, I'm going to add one inch margins. Uh, I got too much text, so let's delete some of this text. Okay, now, and let's go ahead and center it so it looks a little bit different uh, than the rest of it. So select Control E. Okay, and maybe add a couple of spaces here. Okay, so. Um, we have page one, then we got page two through nine. 
it looks different because we did a page break. If you click on this icon here, uh, you can see your uh, page break. You see how it says section page break next page. This is called the show slash hide. Okay, and this is how you can see your special characters like your returns, tabs, things of that nature. Okay, so now let's say that I wanted to put a margin on this and I'm going to put, I'm going to exaggerate a margin. Okay, so that you can see the difference in your headers and footers. So here I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to margins. I'm going to go custom margins. And you see right here where it says gutter. I'm going to tell it one. So we're going to add one inch in addition to the quarter inch. Okay, so now look what it says. Gutter position left. Okay, you can either just do top or left. Okay, and you don't want to do top, so it's going to be left. So you're going to hit OK. Now, I just you wouldn't use that much because on a three-hole punch, all you need is half inch to the left. So you would have... You could have got away with adding uh, 0.25 of an inch plus the 0.25 would have gave you half an inch which is more than enough for a gutter this is just so you can see in addition to that i am going to actually go in select the text all the way down here and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to justify the text so it's easier for you to see the 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 changes that I make. So I'm going to hit G, control J for justify. Now my text is justified left and right. So in other words, it's even. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now, and I'm going to decrypt now. So look, look what's going on. <clears throat> if I was printing one page instead of double sided page, uh, you know, I'm just printing one sided this would work okay because I have a lot of canvas I'm using as much as I can to the right and and you know um, so and I have I'm allowing myself enough for the punch hole but what happens if I needed this margin on this first page that I have I actually need this margin on the right hand side you wouldn't want to go in and go to your margins and uh, go to your custom and tell it uh, either the left or the right to be that because uh, it would only affect the left or the right. Now I'm gonna on the first one I'm gonna change the uh, the margins from here and here. So if I go in here and I tell it to mirror, look what happens. I'm gonna go in here and tell it mirror. Remember left and left so if I tell it mirror margins hit OK now look at the margins on the right hand side I have margins on the left hand side I have margins on the right hand side I have margins because remember what I talked about um, the um, it's always gonna start with left margins this is page one even though we started a section it's page one and it thinks which it is true that this is an even page so let's say that I want to change the margins I want this margin to be to the left what I need to do is right in here you see it says start break now on the first time I'm going to delete that okay and I'm going to go to um, layout page break and I'm going to hit even pages so right now right now you see um, they're to the right so what I'm going to do is actually tell it odd page even though it's an even page, I want to tell it that I want this to act as a right page. It's going to switch this margin over to this margin. So watch this. Uh, let me see. I want this to be an odd page. So you see, it switched it. Now, 
So when you're looking at, at this stuff, you have large margin to the left, large margin to the right on those two pages. That you would print those together. You would print this two together. Or let's say that you want it now, let's say that you want this to be a small margin and in between both of these pages, you want them to be large pages, right? So we would go in here. I would delete this uh, section break. I would go in here and um, go to my break. And I want to tell this to be a even page. And then now, you notice I have larger margins in the middle. So that's how you change your margin breaks. Uh, I think that's all I want to talk to you about this. Let, let, let me kind of look at this real quick. I talked about this, 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 this. And, uh, but <clears throat> one thing also about multiple uh, we're still talking about margins, so I need to cover this area here. I've, I've, I've covered everything except this. Let's say that you wanted to print one of these pages on a double, uh, you wanted to reduce it into two pages. Now, you have to be careful when you do that if you have text, large text, small text, you got uh, pictures then it can kind of throw everything off because what it's going to do is going to get this page divided by two. Look, I'm going to hit two page per sheet. If I click here, I hit OK. Uh, it's Well, look, uh, actually, uh, margin. Uh, oh, book fold is what I wanted. And you hit OK. Now it it created two two uh, two pages per <clears throat> per you know like in other words from here to here is eight and a half uh, eight and a half and it's going to actually be eleven by eight and a half if you add those two together okay so that's that's splitting a page in half. You see how this first page is split this? You see what it did on this other one? So I, I, I don't ever use it. it. It's I've never seen any use. I've, I've, uh, I'd, I've printed thousands and thousands of pages and I've never have ever actually needed to do that. But anyway, um, that's about it for this section. I will be talking about orientation page sizes and columns, page breaks, but I'm going to break it down because uh, when you're talking about page sizes, you, it's hard to print 11 by 17 on an 8 and a half by 11 and I have a real simple solution for it. Or if you have an 8 and a half by 14 or you have a uh, 17 by 22 and you want to print it into 8 and a half by 11. So if you watch my videos, you'll learn that. But uh, my next video is going to be about orientation. Thank you for watching this video, guys.